And a oop. And a oop. And a oop. It is the official King Pain Show. It is the home of the lituation. It is the littest place on earth. Gathering close. Gathering close. Gathering close. Act like you know where you're at when. Like this video. Share this video. Subscribe to this video. And make sure all your notifications are turned on. It don't cost you a motherfucking thing. Yes, we have another installment of Surviving Larry Reed. Oh, my, my, my. Why won't they just leave Daryl alone when, okay, I'm period. Larry fucking with Daryl again when, okay, I'm period. Messing with everybody except those accusers. Okay, on period. He's wet, ready to drag any and everyone to court except for the people who are making the allegations. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Daryl Moore. Said, I didn't say that shit. Said, I didn't say that shit. They said it. But since you want to drag me back on down the court when he said, no. This time, okay, this time here, okay, on period, ain't no turning back. Ain't no turning back, okay, on period. He said there will be no mediation this time here. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And you know, uh, 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 uh. Larry got his worker, sex worker, out here windmilling. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, just don't you be worried. He said, even if Larry gets old and starts to suffer from dementia, okay, he will always tug on Larry's coat to remind him that there's an injunction that we have on Daryl. We! Yes, he did. He said he's been over there working hard for his money. The official King Payne has all uh, the receipts. He said, Daryl, Larry Reed is never going to forget what you did. My, my, my. My, my, my. Larry Reed is taking that injunction all the way uh, to the Lord. To the Lord. He said, Daryl is not supposed to be talking about me. He said, I done already won this battle. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He done went on back down there to the courthouse and filed a whole bunch of papers against Daryl. Yes, he did. I got the receipts. Oh, and, uh, and uh, you know his mistress, uh, uh, Mr. Sis, Mr. Sis, yeah, <laughs> I like that one. His Mr. Sis had to go ahead and chime in sworn testimony from Conscious TV. Oh, I said, girl, not this bussy motherfucking, oh, 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 oh. Proprietor. Mm hmm. Yes, it is. This pussy proprietor, this pussy entrepreneur. Yes, it is. Yeah, this motherfucking pussy pirate. Okay, on period. Said that I needed to go ahead and submit a, a, a sworn affidavit into the court to let them know. What he knows about Daryl. He said, I'm going to stick beside her. My man, my man, my man. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. I got the receipts. I got the receipts when conscious submit sworn testimony to the courts. I got it here in the house when Larry Reed and drug Daryl back down there to the courts when, okay, on period. And the girls. 
are still waiting for T.D. Jakes to get hooled up. We haven't forgot, Larry. <laughs> no, Larry, we haven't forgot when, okay, on period. Until you do right by T.D. Jakes, weeds is going to stay on your motherfucking neck. Okay, on period. File the lawsuit already. Call your girlfriend, Manassa. Go down there to the court. You done went down there to the courthouse and you done filed everything except for that complaint against T.D. Jakes. I thought you said he was swallowing up little boys. Okay, I'm here. I thought you said that you were going to advocate for Manassa win. I thought you said that it was going to be a week about two months ago. You done carried your ass down there to the motherfucking courthouse and filed the motherfucking paperwork to the motherfucking door more. And T.D. Jakes, to this day, Hasn't a document been filed? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh, Fish King Pan got all of the receipts with okay on period. Uh uh, motherfucking uh uh Larry keep on trying to uh 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 project the exclusive on others. Oh, I don't break exclusive. I wasn't the one who who exposed TD Jake. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Matter of fact, you said you noted it and you had the receipts. We're still waiting for the receipts. If you're not filing a lawsuit, you could at least release the receipts. Are you another lying pastor? Another false prophet? You got up. You motherfucking drug your motherfucking frail ass rusty neck ass up on these motherfucking internet streets and you promised your audience receipts that never came you promised a lawsuit that was never filed you mean to tell me you got time to go and resurrect an old beef with Daryl but you don't have time to Make sure the little boys who are, by your own words, sexually assaulted by T.D. Jakes get the justice that they need. Are uh, all of you guys working together? Are uh, all of you guys part of the sex rink? Are uh, all of you guys going to be on Diddy's list? Let's talk about it, uh, girl. If it's King Payne has all of the receipts, all that and more directly after these commercial breaks. Y'all already know this going to be lit. Y'all already know this going to be lit. Like this video. Like this video. We in OK on period. Let me see those crowns in the chat. It's up and it's stuck directly after these commercial breaks. Let's go. <laughs> My mom said I need to do something with my hair, otherwise I gotta get it all cut off. We booked an appointment at Style Kings at the barbershop. Let's go. Do you want fabulous hair? Are you looking for a product strong enough to tame your 4C hair? Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom, you don't have no more leave-in conditioner? Give me that. I know you did not use my Style King leave-in conditioner. Are you looking to knock the dust off them dreams? For a product that will rejuvenate and strengthen your hair? increase hair growth and shine and smells great well then you're in the right place for the long beautiful healthy hair you deserve choose style king perfect on all hair types available online at the official kingpain.net get you some style today oh and your mom calls that she needs some more conditioner <laughs> I was just 
dusting good girl make sure the place is all nice and tidy for all of you we in okay on period gathering close make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss the show yes yeah, gonna check and make sure you subscribe right now go on and check and make sure that you subscribe right now when youtube be doing some weird chat to me yes it did Oh, here in the home of the lituation where everybody's opinion is respected as long as it's not a dusty one win. Yes. Where there is no rusty, dusty, musty, crusty, raggedy, dirty, crispy, sissy, pussy, or pussy holes a lot win. Yes, it did. Crown family gathering close. Gathering close. Yes. This video is not made for kids, as you all know. And everything being shown to you guys during this video is being shown to you guys underneath the fair use and copyright doctrine is my motherfucking opinion. Make sure receipts, take it out if you want to take it. Just don't be weird. What a crown family at? What a crown family at? What a crown family at? Let me see those crowns in the chat. It's time for our crown family roll call. Hey, crown family. I know that's right. I know that's right. Like this video, like this video. We need YouTube sending out all of our notifications. It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the lituation. What did you expect? We have another installment of Surviving Larry Reed. Oh, <laughs> no, I didn't tap out of the race. I didn't tap out, okay, on period. I mean, there's a lot of things going on. Okay, on period. There's a lot of things going on. But leave it to the official campaign to bring some clarity to a dusty situation. We in okay, on period. Though, I haven't been present, okay, on period. I've been keeping my eyes and ears to the streets, okay, on period. I've been <laughs> seeing and hearing everything going on, like that trash ass or distracted or Larry put out with that Mr. Ding Mr. Dingleberry could have kept that shit. Okay. <laughs> what is it called? Oh, 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 oh. Satan. What's the damn track called? Shitty ain't talking about shit. Shitty ain't talking about Nan. I don't know. Something like that. Something like that. Win. Okay, on period. It was trash. Okay, on period. Definitely not something that you would add to your playlist. Okay, on period. You know. Anybody listening to that is like dusty, like that shit is trash. Like I'm saying, no, he's not rapping now. No, he's not rapping now. He's just taking like the ultimate stance. Like he's secular now. Like girl, if he wasn't secular before, he's definitely secular now. Okay, on period. He didn't got the tattoos. He didn't got the chains. He's dressing like a rapper. Now he's spinning out rap tracks. Win. Okay, Larry has transitioned from profit to rapper and it's not he's not even it's not even like christian rap he, he didn't even do like a christian rap thing it's just straight shit he ain't talking about man i'm like damn he just let everybody know he likes shit in his mind that's all i heard what you heard that's all i heard it was nothing but a heap of shit Two thumbs down whenever you get through. No radio station to play it. Not unless you pay off. Like you do your hair. Yes, it is. What a crown family at? What a crown family at? What a crown family at? We in a fish campaign. Got a lot of things to get into with. Okay, yeah, yeah. These, 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 these girls, the girl, they coming from there. They come for Daryl again. Okay, on period. My, my, my. Daryl not playing with them, though. Daryl, Daryl said, ain't going to be no mediation this time. <laughs> he said, somebody going to have to catch these motherfucking hands. He said, the man in the wig, he won't smoke. He said, do the man in the wig won't smoke. He said, ain't going to be no motherfucking mediation this time. He said, Larry, you and any one of your minions can pull up. He said, matter of fact, he said, I'm going to be in town soon. Girl, girl, I don't know what he, them, them some pussies, 
Girl, none of them hoes gonna come outside with it. Girl, you can't step at the motherfucking restaurant. Them hoes gonna motherfucking shimmy out the motherfucking door like, I am not me. Okay, up here. They not coming outside. Girl. I don't know why you pressing them punks. Because that's what they is. Some pussy hoe ass shit with, okay, up here. Girl, them pulled up. Girl, them pulled up with a Larry pussy ass to come outside. No motherfucking, uh, uh, uh. Send some waste your motherfucking money down there at the motherfucking courthouse when a motherfucker is outside your front door. Going to slap somebody's scalp off. Okay, that's what I would have did, girl. This is what I would have did. Okay, Peter, we'd have been wigs flying everywhere. Wigs flying everywhere. Okay, don't don't come to my front door, weird. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I promise. I promise. It'll be wigs flying everywhere. Yes, it did. Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video. Like I said, it's time for our crowd Philly roll call with okay, oh, period. Because girl, we got a lot of dusting to get into. Who's y'all? Y'all came to go dusting? Did y'all come to go dusting, girl? girl. Did y'all come to go dusting, girl? La 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 la. Girl, la 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 la. Who came to go dusting? Oh, two, three, two, hit it. A dusting we will go. <laughs> A dusting we will go. <laughs> I hold the dairy, oh, a dusting we will go. Let me see those crowns in the chat. It's time for our crowd Philly roll call. Okay. Yay. So, hey, Jelly. Hey, friend. <laughs> oh, it's up and it's stuck here in the home of the lituation, and that's just on period. Oh, that's just on period. Hey, Kimberly Lachelle, a kiss of bliss. Chero in the building. Hey, for you. I know that's right. I know what the car said about Larry today. I know you've been over there flipping them cards on Larry. What the cards were saying about Larry? My, my, my. My, my, my. Mm -hmm. Larry got card readers. We got them too. <laughs> yes, it did. Hey, Angela. Hey, for you. Hey, for you. Hey, hey, da Dallas. Hey, Dallas. Hey, friend. You tried to get me. You tried to get me. You tried to get me. Hey, Dallas. Hey, friend. <laughs> Queen TLC in the motherfucking building. I know that's right. Hey, friend. Did you like this video? Like this video, like this video. We need you to send in all our notifications. Fisher King Payne been off a couple of days on this channel, and you know how they do. Oh, them girls must be over there shaking up their best chicken bones. When y'all hear that shit? Is that a motherfucking tornado? Oh, these hoes are shaking up. They best motherfucking chicken ball today. We at okay OK here. Yeah. No weapon formed against me. Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. It's up and it's stuck here in the home. Another situation. Girl, hey, hey, Ben said, what's going on? Guys, uh, pumpkin in the motherfucking building. I know, that's right. Jay! In the building. Hey, friend. Miss Body in the house. I know that's right. Shay J in the building. Hey, friend. Oh, Loose Lips Radio. Loose Lips Radio said, I'm ready to support. Like, what's going on? With? I'm ready to support. Well, the links is in the chat, friend. The links is in the chat, friend. Matter of fact, we're looking for the quickest Twitter fingers in the chat. Somebody quick, give me another number five through 25. Okay, on period. For this win pickup. Okay, on period. Five through twenty-five win. Okay, on period. Yes, we're looking for the quickest Twitter fingers in the chat. Win because we can't do it without your support. Oh, it's your country girl Queen in the building. LaShawn Cleveland in the house. Perry Winkle Sparkle in the building. What's going on? I know that's right. You guys all remember to support. YouTube is taking forty-five percent out of a bad bitch check. Whenever you get through, yeah, sir. Guys, uh, and your favorite content creators depend on your support. Guys, we do. We do. Matter of fact, we can't do it without your support. Guys, 
So you guys continue to love on me like you do. You guys already do a great job. Okay, up here. Continue to love on me like you do when, and I'll continue to show up and show out for you. Where's all my trophies at? Let me see my trophies in the chat. Let me see my trophies in the chat. If you plan on supporting the show or today when I'm talking to you. Yes, I did, because y'all already know it's going to be lit. Y'all already know it's going to be lit. A lit, lit, lit situation. Hey, Chandra, what's going on? I know that's right. <laughs> I got a friend. Period. Period. Yes, Can you paint? Know how to read? Yes, it is. Hey, Mama Nigeria. I know that's right. Yeah, yes, sir. The number of the day. Why not? 21. 21. Can you do something for me? Yes, it is. Shout out to Kimberly Lachelle. Okay, so bliss the quickest Twitter fingers in the chat. Win. Okay, on period. Hey, Katura, I know that's right. Yes. If you guys are planning on supporting the show, the number of the day is 21. And look, if you don't have $21 to support this, okay. It's okay. Send us what you got. Okay, on period, because we need it. It all adds up when, okay, on period. Whether you got $2 or 5 it all adds up, okay, and it all goes to the bigger picture. Y'all know we got a network to produce. We, and we got a big casting call coming up on the 26th, and it's costing the fish king paying a lot of time and money, okay, period, which is like synonymous in my book. Yes, it is. Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video. It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation. Like I said, we got a lot of things to get into with. Okay, on period. Oh, there's a storm out on the ocean. And it's moving this way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, it will surely drift away. Drift away, y'all. Drift away. It will shortly drift away. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, it will shortly drift away. Y'all like this video? Like this video? Don't drift away. Don't head out now. We ain't okay on period. We make we like to make sure that we are anchored. In the Lord over here, when yes, it is. Yes, it is. Don't drift away yet. Don't drift away yet. We and we need you over here. We need you over here. We and like this video, like this video, like this video. Yes, yeah, uh, drift away. Oh, drift away. It will shortly drift away. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus. It will shortly drift away. Gathering close. Gathering close. Gathering close. We got a lot of things to get into. We got a lot of things to get into. Like I said, we got another installment of Larry. Dingleberry Reed. Okay, on period. Oh. Surviving the monster. The motherfucking drug, my motherfucking friend, Daryl. Back down there to the motherfucking courthouse. Daryl got a whole bunch of shit going on with him. He got a whole bunch of motherfucking shit going on. He's producing his own motherfucking network and shit. Movies and things. Larry getting a motherfucking let go from motherfucking BET minus. Like, let's talk about it. Is that why you mad, Larry? BET gave you the boot. Meanwhile, ironically, Daryl's son is on a show that ironically is in the slot that Larry's old show was in. I said, girl, look at God. Look at God, we ain't okay. That's a sign right there. That's a sign right there. We ain't okay. That's that, that's that victory. Okay. That's that victory. See, you already got the victory. Okay, on period. Larry want to drag you back to court with, okay, on period. Daryl said this time ain't going to be no mediation. The A team is going to win that, okay, on period. Win that. Now, they think that, you know, because they have this injunction that they already won, they already over there celebrating. Larry already over there 
calculating the coins because part of the injunction, you know, uh, they have like, you know, daily uh, 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 tariffs to where like if, you know, he's speaking about Larry each day, um, his debt will increase by a hundred dollars and some other things. What is this win? Let's see. Hold on. Hello? Oh, girl, the tea keeps getting hotter and hotter. The tea keeps getting hotter and hotter. Shout out to Couture Bay, by the way. Did I say that? I think I said that. But I didn't tell y'all to subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe to my homegirl. Make sure y'all subscribe to my homegirl, Couture Bay, right here on the YouTube. It's lit over there, too. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Hey, technology, what's going on? I know, that's right. If you guys didn't catch it, the number of the day is 21. Yes, protect us. Oh, yes, it did. Yes, it did. The number of the day is 21. I know that's right. My live yesterday was fire, 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 fire. Okay, I'm here. Oh, oh, gather in close, gather in close, gather in close. When okay, I'm here. Oh, yikes, uh, yikes, uh, love you too, friend. Yeah, you said Tiffany. Hey, for you what's going on? Yeah, you said. Yeah, you so. Cherry Blossom in the building. Two minutes left for the roll call. Two minutes left for the roll call. Y'all hop out of the bushes. Y'all support the show. Y'all already know it's going to be lit with. Yeah, you said. Oh, my, my, my. Hmm. <sighs> The tea is piping hot. The tea is piping hot. When the tea is piping hot, <laughs> yes. If you guys are supporting this show, go ahead and drop some trophies in the chat. You already, you already know what to do, Tiffany. Tiffany already knows what to do. Go ahead and drop some trophies. We love to acknowledge our trophies. Thank you so much for your support in advance. We cannot do it without your support. YouTube is taking so much of our money, so much. When okay, on period. I'm literally. It's like literally like a constant battle, okay? I'm not going to say struggle because we're not struggling over here. We're not, there just ain't no struggle channel, okay, over here. But it's a battle, okay, to, you know, do this right here, okay, over here. It's a lot, it's a lot of work that goes into being a CC. That's what I want to told you when. That's what I'm trying to told you. When it, it, it's a lot of work, okay. On period, the girls be thinking it's easy. Ain't nothing easy about this, okay. On period, mm -hmm. camming up every day. Ain't nothing easy about that. When okay, on period, staying abreast of all the latest news and content. When okay, on period, it's a lot of work. Protecting your energy. Yes, it did. That's why y'all got to gather in close to the king because these dusties be trying to come in. Okay, I'm here. And they be trying to get dust on me, crown family. Okay, I'm here. Yeah, you sir. But I'm, you know, crown family, you know, we like this. You know what I'm saying? It'd be hard for them dusties to even get close to the king with. Okay, I'm here. They be bad. They be bad. They be, there's a lot of dusty bitches in the special place right now. We ain't okay. I'm here. Fuck around to find out. 
fuck around and find out when, okay? Don't feel me. Come over here and dusty if you want to, when we will escort your ass out, okay? Oh, what a crown family at? What a crown family at? What a crown family at? Remember to drop those crowns in the chat. Remember to like this video, share this video, subscribe, win, and support. It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation. Who's ready to get into some things? Everybody hashtag let's go. Everybody hashtag let's go. Denology. How many likes do we have on this video? Are the likes liking? We have 200 plus in the building. How many likes do we have on the video? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Like this video. Like this video. Like this video. Are the likes liking? Oh, I know that's right. I know that's right. Keep on liking this video win. Keep on liking this video win. Keep on liking this video. 21 and Kimmy got more in her chat than you do. It's giving dusty. My, my, my. What that mean win? What that mean win? Jack and Kimmy love. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're trying to say. Kimmy been live for how long now? I just started my show 30 minutes ago. And really, there's no comparison. Let me go ahead and squirt your dusty ass out. Now, I'm not starting the show until we get to 200 likes. 200 likes and some more support. Okay, on period. 200 likes and some more support when, okay, on period. Like, bitch, I am the fucking blueprint. Whenever the fuck you get through. Whenever the fuck you get through. <laughs> Next said, did you see her duck? Did you see her duck? Bitch, I'm the blueprint win. I'm the blueprint win. Okay, been doing this shit. Don't tell me about a bitch just sitting up copying me all day. No shade. I don't feel no way. But girl, go on and sit down somewhere. It's the motherfucking blueprint whenever you get through. Like, as soon as you want to talk about some other content, the girls want to come and drag you back into Jackie. Jaguar country. Like, bitch, Jackie's name is not in the title. Go and sit your dusty ass down somewhere. We don't talk about Jackie over here. <laughs> we don't talk about Jackie over here. We ain't okay on period. Did you see my Jackie show on the backup channel? We had 1,300 people in there last night. Damn, son. Whenever you get through for seven hours. Whenever you get through, the numbers just kept going up, 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 up. I had to end the line. Just kept going up, kept going up. Oh, Tiffany said, what's the backup channel? You don't got the backup channel, friend. The Lituation Network. The Lituation Network win. Oh, I'm at 226 likes that fast? Damn. See what your hate does? See what your hate does? This makes people want to support more. This makes people want to support more. Gathering close crown family win. Oh. 
It's the official King Payne show. Act like you know the win. Okay, I'm period. Like I said, we got a lot of things to get into, and I work too hard putting this content together for a dusty bitch to come through and, and try to uh, 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 uh. be weird. Okay, I'm period. Girl, so, like I was saying. Larry the drug Daryl Moore back down there to the courthouse when I have the court documents here in house. We will be reviewing them during this live. Okay. As well as statements from Daryl and Larry's sex worker. Fuck it. That's that's what we call her. That's what we call her. Period. As soon as Larry go to motherfucking jail, okay, on period, for that fraudulent marriage, yes, it did. She gonna be back to selling bussy in the parking lot when Davion gonna be back to selling bussy in the parking lot when yes, it did. Oh, did y'all see the police report? Broad daylight. Bussy everywhere. Police pull up. It's nothing but a wig. They go in to recover the wig. And lo and behold, it's unconscious and it's booty hole. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. He was in the mother. <laughs> Uh, oh, yes, it did. Shout out to hello all in the building. Yes, it did. So glad that you can make your friend. I seen that you was looking for me, friend. I'm live. I'm alive. Did you like this video? Like this video. Like this video. Like this video. Remember to support when we can't do it without your support. We can't do it without your support when. Okay, period. Yes, if you plan on supporting the show, hop out of the bushes, so girl. And let me see those trophies in the chat. Okay, on period. Continue to make these dusty bitches mad because they already comparing us to uh, uh, uh. <laughs> them critters. Okay, on period. Once a critter, always a critter, like I said. Once a critter, always a critter, like I said. Ooh, yeah, so. All right. All right, let me pull out my receipts because I didn't work too hard for this motherfucking content. We ain't okay on period. These girls trying to derail my motherfucking show. Okay, be rare of the dusty bitches in the chat. Beware of the dusty whore eyes of girl and the motherfucking chat win, okay, on period. Because the official King Payne girl. Will not be pressed. And that's just on period. <laughs> girl. <laughs> and that's just on period. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Okay. Okay, so Larry then went in uh, 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 to this courthouse. Okay, and Daryl he didn't he he tried to warn a win. He tried to warn a win. Okay, on period. In this video, Daryl, you know he he tells Larry, "Hey, if you decide that you want to go down to the courthouse and if some papers show up at my door, I'm going to do everything within my power to, you know, fight. He said, there will be no mediation this time. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So, Daryl went ahead and contacted ICE. as well as the police and, and, and took the took it upon himself to get this certified marriage certificate and forwarded that to ICE as well as notified the court and the judge about what's going on. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. It's a whole lot of dusty shit going on. Leave it to the official king pain to bring some clarity to a dusty situation where on period. 
No, he tried to warn Larry when okay on period. He tried to warn Larry. Here is that warning when okay on period. Apparently, Larry didn't take any heed to uh the warning. Okay, on period. Everything being shown to you guys during this video is being shown to you guys underneath the fair use and copyright doctrine. Listen to this. Feathers got ruffled last night when me and Marcellus was cutting up having a good time on the show. Ooh. So let me address the two people that are in their field. One is out the country right now doing whatever it is he does with whomever he does. Oh, uh, Dingleberry out the country? You know, I heard Dingleberry was out the country with, okay, on period. I wonder, he got those men's with him? He got those men's with him again? Hold on. He got the Busty Bandits with him again. They out of town again. Yeah, another convocation. You know, that's allegedly where Larry, you know, goes to get his rocks off. And unless he, you know, has someone handle it before he goes, you know, he's, he's going to be tempted to mess with men on these trips. Yes, he did. You know, after Vincent exposed Larry, you know, like there, you know, Larry has been pretty closeted up until Vincent. You know, now he's just, you know, more open about his sexuality. He said, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna just be gay then. Is that what that were? other one's fake side because he never gets invited anywhere because he's just a hired help. He's just a cop, oh, a patrol. So he didn't take conscious. He left conscious. We you know him. <laughs> he don't really feature conscious. I don't even think that it, it's not. He don't feature conscious. That the other men's conscious don't fit in. Conscious don't fit in. Like these men are gonna be disgusted by conscious win. Okay. When they do, when they freak off, when they having a little uh, orgy win. Okay. I'm here. Imagine conscious being in the middle of, uh, of this. Okay, period. Like conscious just he don't have the muscles, he don't have the build, he don't he don't have the 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 the, the aesthetic. Okay. He don't have the aesthetic. Oh concubine. So puss and boots, this is for you and your boss. If you even daydream, fantasize, contemplate, ponder, oh, oh, taking any legal action, my, 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 my friend, shout out to being beautifully honest in the motherfucking building, hey, friend. You guys all make sure that you guys are checking out being beautifully honest in her platform whenever you get a chance and subscribe. Okay, it's lit over there. She on Larry Neck too. I didn't know. I didn't know. We ain't okay on people here, friend. You see the drug girl. Back down there to the motherfucking courthouse, when girl, they trying to ruin Daryl's life. They trying to ruin Daryl's life, when Daryl said he ain't going out this time. Daryl said he ain't going out this time, when Daryl said there will be no mediation. Listen to this. Action against me, and you have not taken legal action against Vincent Terrell Hill, Tasha K. You better think real hard, because if you come out. Tasha K don't need no more lawsuits, friend. Okay, on period. Ain't nothing there. We ain't got it. Okay, up here. He know who to sue. You got something over there. Okay, you got something he won't. Okay, up here. You could have got some money over there, girl. Cause he know what it is. Cause ain't nothing to find over here. What he want? What he want? Win, girl. My bell. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ain't nothing over here. Ain't nothing over here about fucking doorbell weird over here up here. You could ring my bell. Ring my bell. He know that it's too okay up here. Clearly, you got something over here. You've been paying all them fines with, okay? You got to stop paying the motherfucking fines. Okay, up here. Did he stop finding shit to sue you for? Okay, up here. You got to let his ass know. Ain't no money over motherfucker here. Okay, clearly, you got something going on, girl, because oh, 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 he keep on digging. He said, oh, he got some more motherfucking money win. Okay, he must have got your motherfucking taxes. He's trying to give him dirt. He's trying to get your tax money in the motherfucking dirt. Okay, because I ain't got none. I ain't got none. I ain't got none. Oh, yeah. You can ring my bell. Ring my 
time and not not the way that you ring motherfucking conscious TV bell, okay, on period. Ain't no motherfucking goodies over here for you win, okay, on period. I keep my pussy clean. You like dingleberries win. Remember that, Larry. Remember that. When you ring my bell, I ain't got no motherfucking or, or duke your snatch in my motherfucking snatch, okay, on period. You can't have none of that no old way, okay, on period. You're not ringing my bell no time soon, okay, on period. Stick to the girls that you know. Stick to the things that you know with, okay, on period. And guess who did? Oh, girl. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Anybody see uh, uh, Larry strip down to his motherfucking boxer briefs? I was like, what? I'm sorry, somebody check on the kids when, okay, on period. Yes, he's being, oh, 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 sexually deviant right now, okay, on period. Like, uh, what's going on? Like, who's taking the photo? Like, who is the photographer when? Okay, on period. Oh, I know he had his eyes closed. <laughs> Looks like he took the pictures laying down. Okay. Mm-mm. Yeah, that picture's out of line, friend. Out of line. Okay, on period. Just like his hygiene. Girl. Girl, you see all the boils on this motherfucking back? <laughs> Oh, they about to start looking like an alligator in a minute. Mark my words. Not to me this time. There will be no mediation. There will be no, oh, uh, let's talk about it. Let's just, you know, do this. And do. No, we're going to go all the way with this. And you better get your dog on a leash, sir. Oh, because that, 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 he said, get your bitch on a leash. My, my, my. He's so kind. He's so kind. He don't want to say the B word I said. Get your bitch. Okay. On a leaf, sir. That wig wearing parking lot thought is going to get you sent to prison for five years. This is why. When you, if you get piped up and you decide to take me to court, this is what I'm going to do to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you, I'm going to put my email at the bottom of the screen. Uh, let me see. Let me make sure I create it. If I don't already have, and I don't. So I'm going to create a banner real quick with my email so you can write it down. And I'm going to put it at the bottom of this live stream here. Because I want to make sure you get my email. And I'm going to explain why in a minute. Right, dang it. I can't see. What crap? Believe it, friend. Believe it, friend. We in. I done picked the oh, 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 receipts out. I done picked the receipts out. We in. Believe it, friend. That's when you believe it. That's when you believe it. Yeah, okay, so if you believe it, like this video. <laughs> That's when you believe it. Is the poll up? Is my poll up? Let me see. That's what I didn't see. I don't think I've seen a poll today. Is my poll up? Oh, it is. Ooh. What was that? Ooh, 12% of the audience is dusty. 13%. Lord. Chances are, if you haven't liked this video, you're one of the dusty girls in the back. No, stay back there. We, we not. Look <laughs> at dusty bitch trying to run up. Security! Your ass back, bitch. I don't know who thought you was running up on hope. Crown family don't play about the king. Take her ass to the dusty place. What fuck is you talking about, weirdo? Y'all like this video? Like this video? Like this video right now? That's when you believe it. That's when you believe it. Okay, let's go. Okay. Now. In fact, I'm just—I'm not gonna have a stroll. I'm gonna just have it sit there. Thank you, friend. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for your there continued support. There it is, support. right there. That's my email. I want you to screenshot it with your cell phone, write it on a piece of paper, whatever you need to do. I'm gonna leave it up there for the next two, three minutes. I need you to write that down, okay? Write this email, Betty, not the one in the chat. This one. It's the one I want everybody to send to. If you, sir. If anything comes to that mailbox from a court or an attorney, or if I get an email from a court or an attorney, an email, a letter, 
or process server, anything come to this house. Hell, if you send it by carrier pigeon, anything from a court or an attorney that comes to this house uh, pertaining to you, taking me to court, you going to prison. <laughs> I am so serious. My, my, my. <laughs> My, 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 are you talking about these documents? Lord, when the shit hit the fan, Larry got on up and ran. It's getting funky. It's getting funky out here on these YouTube streets. It's getting funky out here on these YouTube streets. You mean these documents when? Are you referring to these doc? Are you talking about these documents? D document. D one. D one. D one. My, my, my. When the shit hit the fan, Larry got on up and ran down to the courthouse. Yeah. My, my, my. My, my. Girl, these D docs right here. Ooh. I don't think he got your message for you. I, I don't, I think he, I, I don't think he got your message, girl. Mr. Moore, I don't, I, I, I don't think he heard this at all. I think he might have missed this video. What y'all think? Y'all think he heard it? I think he, he I think he might have missed, I think he might have, he might have just, did he not hear it? Hold on. Anything comes to this house. Hell, if you send about a carrier pigeon. Anything from a court or an attorney that comes to this house uh, pertaining to you taking me to court, you going to prison. Ooh. I am so serious. He was serious. He's serious. This is how serious he is. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you how serious he is. Daryl is serious. Okay, period. Daryl the motherfucker. Oh, oh, oh. Request that the motherfucker marriage license, the put in the I support, the submitted paperwork to the prosecutor's with, then address the trolls, a girl, filed a police report, and went down to the court to press charges when okay on period. And after the show, I have inside information, segment out information. We're going to the coffee, find out what that were, okay on period. There's gonna be some arrests made. Okay, it's just not gonna be girl. Yes, uh, y'all come to find out who's being arrested directly after the show on coffee. Yes, it did. Get your coffee today. <laughs> you don't want to miss this tea. I promise. I promise the girls you don't want to miss this tea. Okay. Or process server, anything come to this house. Hell, if you send it by carrier pigeon, anything from a court or an attorney that comes to this house uh, pertaining to you taking me to court. You going to prison? Ooh, I am so serious. I saw the little, I saw bits and pieces of the little live puss and boots did today while you out the country. Ooh. you, that boy is going to cost you tremendously. I'm not talking money, uh, money. I'm talking freedom, your personal freedom. Because I'm going to put this address on the screen, and I want you to get your cell phones out. And I want you to make a copy of this and or write it down on a sheet of paper. I'm just gonna sit it there for a while I'm talking. Write that down. When you send the email, I want you to tag my email when you email that email address that's on the screen. I want you to CC me on the email, not CC, blind copy me, BCC me when you email that email address that's on the screen, the big one, E O I R dot fraud dot fraud program at usdoj.gov. When you email that per that email address, I want you to take my personal email address and BCC me on it so I can keep a record of it. Okay, and what do we say? I know I'm not the only one thinking it. He need to put out like ooh, 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 ooh. outline or like a ooh, ooh, copy and paste type of thing. Okay, because I'll send an email, but I don't, I, I don't know what to say. I, I 
think he needs to pick like, you know, a little mock up so that we can just copy and paste. Kind of make sure that it gets to the right people. Yeah. And email me because I want to send you a copy of the letter that I'm putting on the screen next. Because enough is enough. Enough is enough. If I get, thank you. Thank you. Enough is enough because if anybody bothers me, because that after the Simpson wig wearing enough wig. is enough. Enough is enough. Everybody hashtag enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. When Lord pushes you up to mess with me. He don't have pot, no window. He has nothing to lose. You do. Your Not your money. The money is the smallest part of it. Your freedom. Your freedom. Chamaco Bryant's freedom. Latrice Spencer's freedom. All three of you are facing five years in prison and a $250,000 fine. I'm going to make sure you understand that. I'm going to make sure you understand that. This is a serious matter. This playtime is over. This is a serious matter. It's right. My, my, my. Daryl's on their neck. Daryl is on their motherfucking neck. When on Cam Pearson, and he's encouraging everybody to go ahead and get involved. When on Cam Period, here is what Daryl had to say. Right there, I'm gonna take my email address off so you can read this. If your spouse got married to evade U.S. immigration law, he is guilty of marriage fraud and can be deported or charged, then deported. Call the hotline at 1 866 347 2423 to report suspected marriage fraud. Find your local ICE office to report fraud in person. Next slide. Oh, we got slide. How long do you go to jail for fake marriage? You see that bold part right there? The Immigration Marriage Fraud Amendment Act of 1986. Five years imprisonment and a $250,000 fine for any individual who knowingly enters into a marriage for the purpose of evading any provision of the immigration laws. And we, and we all know, okay, by Larry's own admission, okay, because, you know, Vincent Terrell recorded Larry without his consent. I don't know if he lives in like a, a one-party consent state or what have you okay if anybody knows where vincent lives can you go ahead and verify that um if he lives in a one-party consent state but he recorded larry and he put out a recording of larry confessing to the contract marriage so we know that the contract marriage um is a thing and larry orchestrated said thing according to lester peltier the most recent accuser. Hell, ladies and gentlemen, hold on, because I don't want to make I want to make sure I don't mess up here. Hold on, can y'all still see me? Because I just want to make sure I don't mess the screen up. All right, I'm gonna slide this down here. I'm gonna close this out, and uh, you bear with me. Hold on. Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. It's up and so, it's stuck here in the home of the situation. Let's go. Just hold on. I guess I want you to hear for yourself. I want you to hear it. I want you to hear this for yourself. Hold on. Hold on. All right. I want you to hear this and just listen. Staff to be a chef for the NBN network. Wallace, there was already a chef on staff, Latrice. Lester is now a. He's talking about Lester. You guys all remember Lester? You guys all remember Lester? We had an interview with Lester right here. Part of that interview, 
that interview is part of the reason that Vincent Terrell Hill came forward. Alleging that outside of the contract, which included housing, transportation, and a regular payroll, he was getting way more from Larry. This Lester story is not adding up, even when you hear it from Larry's mouth. Eventually, he ended up, I was paying for some stay places, but like, I said, my name was tight. I said, I can kill you, you have to come to Atlanta. Right. So he came, came to Atlanta for the which would do it because they got a contract marriage. And so Larry right now is describing his relationship with Lester and Larry would try to say that this is some sort of AI but AI don't sound as good AI don't sound like that AI don't use Ebonic okay on period AI AI you can you can hear the difference this is this is you larry larry this is you you cannot deny that this is you and you're openly admitting to this contract marriage which is a federal offense Marco wasn't done white i'm here i was there on mm -hmm. and he left he went to the hot house and took his stuff but while he was there just considering all the different stuff that was going on Marcus, so let's send the rest of his stuff there. You know, like, this so can stay a little bit right so we can just clear our mind and find out what we do. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, he started thinking, these people trying to get rid of me. Pay attention. So he's and they was trying to get rid of him. They absolutely was trying to get rid of him. So he's describing the time that they tried to get rid of Lester. Lester um, realized that they were trying to get rid of him, and he demanded to talk to Larry. And you know, feel like we're trying to get rid of him. He flew back to Miami. He ended up homeless for him money. Mm -hmm. And he got frosted with didn't have to go to the hospital. So he gets mad. And guess what he called? Hmm. Yes, oh, Jesus. Huh? Well, I Here we call Bishop who? He said he got frosted by. Y'all help me, help me, please. Help me, help me, please. Help me in the chat. He said he got frostbite. He went to the hospital. And guess who he called? Bishop who? Did he, did he say Archbishop Bernard? Did he call Archbishop Bernard? I got to call Lester. I mean, it really, I mean, everything he said after this was just fabricated. Um, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. So we talk. Hmm. Yes, oh, Jesus. Huh? Bishop Bailey? Bishop who? Y'all know what name he's saying? It's clear I'm to find out what we do. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, he started thinking, these people trying to get rid of me. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. So he's in New York. Feel like we're trying to get rid of him. He flew back to Miami. He ended up homeless for him and money. Mm -hmm. And he got frosted with bit and had to go to the hospital. So he gets mad. And guess who he called? Yes, Oh, Bishop Whitehead. Oh. It said it right there on the screen. I'm so slow. No, he did not. That's what I'm about to say. Everything after this is just fabricated because he didn't call Bishop Whitehead. <clears throat> well, he did call Bishop Whitehead. He did call Bishop Whitehead, okay? But he never spoke to Bishop Whitehead. He didn't know Bishop Whitehead. Everything that Larry's getting ready to say is fabricated. I was the one to connect Lester with Bishop Whitehead, and it was after our exclusive interview, so... They didn't know each other. They had no recognition of one another. It was their first time meeting on that call. Jesus. Huh? Well, I so I'm not hearing something on the phone. I'm like, okay, let's see what happened. Let me get to the phone. So we called Mr. Right here. Now, we don't know any stuff that's going on. Come find out. Mr. White here was going to pay him $20,000 up for 20000 a year. Flew him back to New York, put him in a hotel room for three That's days. Told me him at eight o'clock. He called us at six. All of us had blocked him. That's time to call him. Mm -hmm. But he didn't. Michael didn't block. Mm -hmm. So he called Michael, mm -hmm. and he said, "I'm about to. Um, I've got to come to a Bishop Blackhead. We're going to do a story on Reed, and um, y'all push me to marry Latrice." He said all the stuff he needed to say to set up. Uh, like we're trying to get. We're trying to make it a federal thing. Uh, yeah. And. Well, Michael said, well, why are you calling Tony? Like, I need to call this person first. Uh -uh. 
how does one read the Quran? You know, I can't believe he does it. I know this is not how he is. So he, I, was, I was trying to tell him in November. So I said, I'm doing it a whole lot. I can't right. do it. I can't right. care you and do it. I can't like that. Right. And exactly. so, you know, me, Michael called me and said, I said, okay, well, let me do that. That's a lie. I'm sorry. He just wanted to talk to me. I feel like you talked to him with some other kid. Mm-hmm. I said, I don't give a Somebody said, How do you get arrested for something? Several. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma, ma. Um, you have to be more clear on what you're talking about exactly. I wonder if Duke going to put out his paperwork about beating them kids. Ma, ma, ma. Who beat kids? What paperwork are you talking about? People supposed to be going to jail for years still ain't gone. My, my, my. Tonight's number is 21. Yes, and there goes the cash up right there. My, my, my. I said, don't nobody try to make me do something. I said, I'm wrong. And I get up and he said, I don't know. I said, I am not me. And this nice up is clear. He said, listen to me, Larry, you know what I mean? Call me. So I grabbed the phone and I called me. And as soon as I put up the phone, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I got something to tell you. I said, what? The mall, this is his first name, go by right here. I've been knowing him since 2019. He paid me to get close to you and get inside your business to find out. So he's saying Lester told him when he finally got in contact with him, mind you, they had sent all his stuff to Miami. They were trying to get rid of him, and Lester demanded to talk to Larry. He would get on the phone with Larry, and according to Larry, Lester told him that he's been knowing Bishop Whitehead since 2019, and he was sent to him as a spy. Put a one in the chat if you believe it. Put a two in the chat if you do not believe that. Okay, period. It's just so far fetched. I happen to know it's not true. Like I said, I I was the one that facilitated the conversation between Lester and Bishop Lamar Whitehead after our exclusive interview. So he, you know, all this that he's talking about was it's just not true. They didn't know each other. He wasn't a spy for. Bishop Whitehead, <clears throat> where are the receipts? So this had to let that whole thing go because he didn't go through. You know, so we apologize to Mr. Hands for staying close to my live Orlando. Hey, so hello, like, friend. I'm glad right that you can make it. And and look at Listen, just pay attention. Now, why would you take care of someone whom you thought was betraying you? Up until April 2023, Larry and Lester were cool because I have the text messages where he was trying to recommend masseuses and Lester was one of the ones he was recommending. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Caught in his own life. I'll be with you in a minute. I'll explain how all this ties in. Ooh. Cake, 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 cakes on the menu. The chocolate cake takes me out every time. The chocolate cake takes me out every time with, okay, oh, period. Lester was nothing more than a piece of meat to them, okay, on oh, period. And they were passing him around, were trying to pass him around, allegedly. When Larry sent the pictures and the videos of Lester to Vincent, Vincent would respond with a chocolate cake. He said, cake, 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 cakes on the menu. <laughs> Chocolate cake. My, my, my. He was staying in the apartment financed by your seed sowing. Those of you that are part of Reformation Church. Mm-hmm. Doing what up until June before he was attempted to be kicked out? If you listen to Lester's story, there was no bad blood up until June of last year. The recording is in January of last year. So <laughs> for six months, he was receiving money, something, mm-hmm. if anything, lodging on you all's dime. He said that 
Larry was spending the church's money on Busty. And if patterns don't lie, mm -hmm. Larry, your sexual involvement makes sense why you would have your cousin Latrice marry him. Oh, there you go. Here we go. Hey, young man. She got that motherfucking Wesley snot fade. Okay, old period. Yeah. She got that motherfucking high top. Okay, old period. She said, fuck them edges. <laughs> uh. That's to say he didn't want to marry her. He didn't want to marry her, but she was the only one available. He wanted to marry Larry's wife and bang his little girls. He said, not the little girls. He said, shit, I have to get something out of this situation. Larry wanted my bong hole. I said, girl. I said, girl, get up out of here with that shit. Uh, apparently, I guess, you know, one of the daughters is grown or at the legal age is 17 of consent or something. I don't know. I said, these people, these people. Okay, I'm period. But Larry said that Lisa was too close to the situation. Yeah. Lisa want a wife, not a husband. I know, that's right. My, my, my. I, I, you know, why didn't, I, you know, I never understand why, you know, Latrice and Lisa ain't hook up. You know, they probably is, you know, hooking. Who knows? They are forced to live together. Because according to Marco, he never wanted to marry Latrice. But guess who? Pushed it and Darren there made him do it. You did. Bingo. You've used Latrice twice to lock your boyfriends in. Shamako was the first one. Not nice. Listen. I asked Latrice, will she be interested in a contract of marriage? <laughs> no, no, no. She was like, okay, she made him. She liked him anyway. She's okay, fine. No, of course, she's not trying to have sex. Right. Just... Contract marriage? My, my, my. My, my. This is Larry. This is uh, from Larry's own mouth. This is from Larry's own mouth for the girls in the back. For the girls in the back. He said, I asked Latrice, would she be interested? He said, I asked. You know what that means? He means Larry Dingleberry Reed facilitated the contract marriage. This is not civil. This is criminal for the girls in the back. Federal offense. No, no, no. She was like, okay, she made him. She liked him anyway. She's okay, fine. No, of course, she was never trying to have sex. Right. Bingo. And that's all I need to play right there. My, my, my. Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. We got a lot of things to get into when, okay? We got a lot of things to get into. Remember to support this video. Cash App, Super Chat, Venmo, Zell, Crypto, PayPal, however you want to do it. The number of the day is 21. Where are all my trophies at? Let me see my trophies in the chat. Let me see my trophies in the chat. One second when. I got to do something real quick. Let's scroll. I don't need the girls to be mad at me. Okay, I'm here right now. I've got time to be doing all of this, so I'm just gonna. Everybody got to get out of jail free card today, but I'm not worried about it because you know my mom's a picture ass right back in jail. Come over here being dusty. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Y'all like this video? Like this video? Like this video right now? Like I said, we got a lot of things to get into. We got a lot of things to get into when, you know, Daryl tried to warn Larry exactly what he would do if Larry decided that he wanted to continue to pursue him. So, you know, as I showed you, you know, Daryl, he, he he's not playing with Larry. He's done everything that he said he was going to do. Okay. And, you know, 
what do you guys think is going to happen? Is Larry even going to be around to uh, continue to pursue uh, Darrow? Like, I don't know. Like, how fast is ISIS, like, move? Do you think they're going to pull up? Before Larry gets swallowed up. Do you believe the judge is going to ignore the injunction and listen to what Daryl has to say? Or is Daryl going to have to find some sort of alternative method to get his lick back from Larry? Y'all let me know in the chat y'all let me know in the chat hey lisa thank you for your thank you for your support larry not a pastor he's a hypocrite i know that's right the number of the day is 21 where's all my trophies at where's all my trophies at oh larry is trash my 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 love this king is a gifted superstar and needs to be on ready or tv definitely above average intelligence thank you for your Thank you, Fryer. And we got a lot of things to get into here. Okay, on period. Oh, let me see. Let me make sure that. Uh... <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Daryl is so fucking funny. Let me tell <laughs> Oh, this next part took me out. This next part took me out. Are we almost there? Okay. <laughs> Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. We got a lot of things to get into. We got a lot of things to get into. They said we need some more likes on this video. They said we need some more likes on this video. They said we need some more support on this video. Hop out of the bushes, like this video, and support this video. Where's all my trophies at? Where's all my trophies at? Daryl wrote a letter to eyes. He wrote a letter to eyes. Like I said, Larry didn't, he, he must have didn't see this video. We and he let Larry know that if he gets anything, if he receives anything at his home, he will be forwarding this information to ice. Okay, along with these receipts. My, my, my. Listen to this. Uh, and I'm waiting on it. And that little screenshot below, that's Chase Bank, where Larry Reed was sending his lover, Lester Peltier, money. In a span of eight to nine days, he sent him almost $3,600. <gasps> that's a screenshot from Lester. Yes, it is. Read along with me. Hello. I would like to report an illegal marriage that was a oh, We got me. way more screenshots than that. We got way more receipts than that over there on the coffee. If you guys are interested in seeing exactly how much money Larry was sending to uh, 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 Lester, okay, on period, I put all the receipts over there on coffee. Yeah, that's a long list of receipts. A long list of receipts. Okay, on period. Yeah. Lester was getting that money, horny. Lester was getting that money, honey. He said he, he had got so much money from Larry that he was able to uh, send money to his family and put some up. Let's talk about it. Larry B. Reed. He arranged for his lover, Lester Peltier, to marry his cousin, Latrice Spencer. The marriage was officiated by Larry Reed's other male lover, Chamaco Bryant. Chamaco Bryant is the ex-husband of Latrice Spencer. Larry Reed paid his cousin to marry Lester Peltier. Latrice Spencer is a lesbian, so she has no interest in men, as we already know from the audio. It was strictly a financial marriage so that Lester Peltier could remain in the United States. The marriage license is dated September 22nd, 2022. The marriage took place in Sandy Springs, Fulton County, Georgia. Certificate number on the marriage license is 2022-04632. And the application number is 2022-04733. Marriage book 921, page 135. All of that is on that marriage license over there to your right. The YouTube video is audio evidence of Larry Reed admitting that he arranged the marriage. Go to the link right here. The confession starts at the 22 minute mark. Stop at the 28 minute 40 second mark. If you send any documents to my mailbox, 
Have a process server come to serve me? Have anybody tried to arrest me? Have any lawyer or court email me? This is going to be mass blasted into that courthouse. Into that, no, this is going to be used as evidence in court by me, but it's also going to be sent to Immigration Customs Enforcement, ICE for short. And they are going to scoop all three of you up. Period. Period. Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? What you gonna do, Dingle? What are you gonna do, Dingle? And you're gonna have to post bond, hire lawyers, go to court, and face the, face the music. You're gonna be facing five years in prison and a $250,000 fine. You, Chamak O'Brien, who officiated the wedding knowing it was a bogus wedding, and he officiated because his name appears on the marriage license as the officiant. And he was marrying his ex-wife, who he knows is a lesbian, to this man for fraudulent purposes because Ooh. she was paid. She was paid. And just so you know that I'm not playing, this is the email that I sent to the courts in Fulton County, Georgia, requesting a copy of your marriage of the marriage license between your cousin and Lester. My, my, my. My, my, my. Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video. We in OK on period. Y'all remember to support this video. We got quotas to meet, Crown Family. We have quotas to meet. Hop out of the bushes. Support the show. Support the show. Support the show. OK on period. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. Daryl is not playing with Larry. Oh. Oh, he got the receipts. He got his, all his receipts together. You know, Larry admitted to this contract um, marriage. You know, he, he admitted to facilitating this contract marriage um, to evade immigration, which is, you know, a federal offense. Something else I thought was interesting, okay? Larry also admitted in that video and I, I went back to pull the video um that he was gay and vincent also uh, uh uh you know you know confirmed that they were in a 13 year sexual relationship right in front of his wife his family his audience and his church whole time they were in the sexual relationship. They were frocking. And he wanted to apologize. Not only to Lisa, Larry's wife, but his kids also. Because he literally played in all their face. Uncle Vincent. That's fucking our dad. Let's talk about it. Uncle Vincent is fucking our daddy. They knew it. They did everything. I'm sure so them girls are traumatized. They probably need all kind of therapy to think that for years they thought this man was their uncle to find out that he was fucking their daddy and making their mother look like a fucking fool for 13 years. Fucking years. Like, are you fucking serious? Like, bitch, bitch ain't no apology. <laughs> I ain't no apology I can think of that can motherfucking make up for no shit like that. That's a long ass motherfucking time. They hit text messages. They, they literally carried on this relationship right under her nose. <laughs> this was a gag, though. This was the gag. Gathering close. You know, Larry out here buying cars for all of these men and computers and paying their rent. Whole time, he fucking these niggas. His wife don't have a car. His wife was catching a bus to work. You know why she was catching the bus to work? Because that way he can make sure that she was gone long enough so that he can be sexually deviant. He'll have Shamarco go pick up his wife while he'll have Levantre up in a room. Is that what that were? 
Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, had her ass walking to work. Well, he didn't set up and bought conscious TV a car, and he wanted to sit up here and make like, oh, ain't nothing going on between. He had his wife walking, and I got the receipts. I got all the receipts. You better know that I got the receipts. His wife was walking and catching the bus he, while he sat up and bought this bitch. This, uh, oh, oh, what we call it? Mr. Sir. Mistress Man. The sex worker, a car, period. Fucking just call her what the fuck she is. Shit. About this damn sex worker, motherfucker car. His wife was walking. I said, not the motherfucking wife walking to motherfucking. Why is she working? Nobody else motherfucking working. None of these niggas work. The fuck she got a job for? None of these whores work. The fuck she got a job for? All of these bitches on vacation every other motherfucking week. The fuck she at the house for? Slaving. Shouldn't she be on motherfucking vacation? Riding the motherfucking uh, or pain. She don't want to go to Dubai. She don't want to live her best life too. You will never see no woman on these trips. Allegedly, he had a time right now. Where's Lisa? Where's the girls? He only decided to take them girls on the trip because I was online saying that he don't ever take them nowhere when, okay, I'm period. Yes, y'all can take me later. Bitches didn't bring me nothing back from Mexico. That fucked up. Y'all wouldn't even been on no motherfucking vacation if it wasn't for me. Let's talk about it. Larry ain't took them hoes nowhere. Larry ain't took them hoes not a motherfucking place until I said, until I pointed it out. Next thing you know, oh, let me take my girls on a vacation. He still made sure these niggas was on the trip. He still made sure these naggers was on the motherfucking trip, but he he took his girls. He did take his girls with okay on period. <clears throat> Lisa said, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Y'all, that whole family clique is crazy as hell. Them poor children are scared for life. It's just disgusting how all of them live in front of their children. Okay, I'm period. Larry set up and said that he used to eat ass, okay, as a child. In front of his child. He was sitting up talking about his molestation, but he was telling his child that it wasn't really a molestation. It was a relationship. How do you tell, explain to your child that when you were nine years old and you were being molested that it wasn't really molestation it was a relationship how do you explain that to your child he said that six of his cousins would line up in a row and he would have to go from ass to ass to ass and lick their dingleberries and shit out of their asses so much so that he got good at it and he grew fond of it i got the fucking receipts he keep on trying to say that i'm lying he keep on trying to call me a lie when everything that i say over here i can back it up with a receipt i can back it up with a receipt when okay on period daryl got his receipts and i got mine too Okay, I'm period. I ain't sat up here and told no lies. Period, girl. That's what he said. Right in front of his motherfucking daughter. And I got the receipts. I got the receipts. Yes, it did. Yeah, those girls need prayer and therapy. Yes, it did. It is for real, for real. I don't understand how you could say these things to anyone. Friend. Friend. Exactly. Exactly, friend. Oh. Shout out to everybody here. Make sure that you guys are liking this video. Like this video. Like this video. I don't cost you a thing to like this video. Win. Okay. If you guys are enjoying the content, remember to support. Okay. Remember to support. Okay. The number of the evening is 21. Okay. Moving right along because we got a lot of things to get into. We got a lot of things to get into. Win. Oh. So I said in that video, there was something else that I wanted to show you guys. Okay. On period. 
Make sure we get this on wax. Make sure we get this on wax, okay? Because Vincent not only was Larry's lover, but he's also responsible for um, putting together the Larry Reed so show in his own words. And, you know, he was also part of the inner circle or harem. So he knows things that no one else would know. He is also alleging that, you know, he is not innocent, but he was complicit. So that gives everything that he's saying so much more weight, you know, because he's saying that I committed these crimes with Larry and I, I've just, you know, it's been weighing on me and I want to come clean. Listen to this. Now, again, everything being shown to you guys during this video is being shown to you guys underneath the fair use and copyright doctrine. It's my opinion. Mix with receipts. Take it out if you want to take it. Just don't be weird. Remember to support the show. We can't do it without your support. Let's go. Terrell here. I worked with Larry Reed from Larry Reed Live from 2003 to 2018. At that time, I was everything from a personal assistant, executive assistant. I traveled statewide and internationally. But most importantly, I am the creator and originator of the Larry Reed Live show. Throughout those 15 years, 13 years were spent in a sexual... Ooh, he said, I am the creator and originator of the Larry Live show. My, my, my. My, my, my. But you're not Larry Reed. Ooh. And you're mad. I don't know why anybody would want to be Larry Dingleberry Reed. Anyway, girl. Girl, he talk like he been eating ass his whole life. He got a terrible list. Ooh. Both of them do, actually. Creator and originator of the Larry Reed Live Show. Throughout those 15 years, 13 years were spent in a sexual relationship with Larry Reed. For a while, I believed I was the only one, or rather, the only man. However, Larry made me aware after our sexual relationship was over, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a man. I will disclose the other men in the church he's had some sort of sexual relationship with outside of me as we move forward. Yeah, shout out to Bull Life for the support. Bull Life says support, support, support. That's the name of the game. Hop out of the bushes and support the show win. Okay, on period. Whenever you guys hear the me start talking about support increasingly, that means that we need to hit our goals. Okay, on period. Guys, uh, if it's getting annoying, then you know what to do. Girl, this is a business. <laughs> Whenever you get through. Most of what I say in this video is provable. Everything else I saw with my own eyes are those directly connected to it told me. Ooh. None of this is secondhand information. You did take my cum. He said, you did take my cum for I don't know how many years in your ass. This is another recording that he has of Larry. Listen to this. Listen, to, he got Larry red-handed. He did that now. He did that now. Okay, on period. He got the confessions out of Larry that we all been looking for for a while. Listen to this. None of this is secondhand information. You did take my cum. I don't have any ears in your ass. So it's my students in you. Yes. While he was married, pastoring, traveling the road, working with me on Larry Reed Live, we maintained an on going sexual relationship what he said that in your ass so it's my students in you. Wait, this video is provable everything acted to it told none of this past this video i saw with us i saw none of this is secondhand information you did take my cum i don't have any ears in your ass so it's my students in you yeah none of this is secondhand information you did take my cum i don't have any ears in your ass so it's my students in you yeah. One more time for the girls in the back. None of this is secondhand information. You did take my cum. I don't have any ears in your ass. So it's my students in you. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Y'all nasty as fuck. Y'all nasty as fuck with you. Just a little cum bucket, aren't you, girl? What you do with all that cum in your ass, girl? Just nasty. Get yeah, is nasty. What you thought you was gonna have a baby? 
bitch, all you got was motherfucking bowel movements. Okay, oh, period. Girl, get your ass about here. You let this nasty old decrepit frail ass nigga come in your ass, bitch. You ain't never heard of no motherfucking condom hole. Like, that's just nasty. All you bitches over there is sick. I don't give a fuck. We and a girl. Sit your raggedy ass down somewhere. Like, ugh. Ugh, I, you know, you know, he's telling the truth. Like, uh, imagine how hard it was to just press upload and let motherfuckers hear that. You know, you got all the Larry semen in your fucking ass. Like, girl, <laughs> pussy hole could never. Okay, old period. I don't, oh, girl, motherfucker. Larry took advantage of me, bitch. I never bitch no shit like that with okay, him. period. Oh, shit, if this old ass fell on top of me, bitch. I, girl, girl, hey, no, hey. Ain't no way. Girl, you've been requesting that all night. Okay. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> My voice is actually kind of messed up with. Okay, go people here. Trapboat water. <laughs> Y'all, it's mess in the damn chat. Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. Remember to support. We can't do it without your support. Weird. Okay, oh, period. Let me see. We are two, 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 two. Uh, 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 donations away from our quota win, okay? And the number of the day is 21. Can you do something for me? Where my trophies at? Let me, let me see my trophies in the chat. Let's go. While he was married, pastoring, mm. traveling the road, working with me on Larry Reed Live, Ooh. we maintained an ongoing sexual relationship. Ooh. That, to my knowledge, only he, Shamak O'Brien. Oh, and there was somebody in the back. Saying something about my who got more views now, by the way. I wait. And myself was aware of from 2005 to approximately 2017 when I cut off the sexual relationship. Ooh. Shamako didn't like our relationship. I'm gonna bring you love for us. Which one besides him didn't like our relationship? More on Shamako later. My, my, my. You guys all remember Shamako. Shamako is the one who married. His ex-wife, Latrice, to Lester. Yeah, it's just a whole bunch of inbred breeding going on. Like, there's a whole bunch of weird shit. Like, I don't... Whoa. So, Larry... This is the way the story is told, okay? I'm here. This is the way the story is told. It's all alleged motherfucker. I don't know. Don't don't get, don't come over here getting me the motherfucking line with, okay? I'm here. The way the story is told, Okay? Is that Larry and Shamarco ran away with each other, uh, ran away together at 16, 17. Larry uh, was, you know, doing his whole church stuff, okay? And, and Shamarco followed. Shamarco followed. Mm hmm. Larry had Shamarco. Marry his cousin Latrice so that people wouldn't think that there was something nefarious going on between the two. You know, the girls like to use that word around these YouTube streets. It's, that's what they call the, the gay sex these days. It's nefarious. It's nefarious activities. Bunch of fairies, I guess. I don't know. So they, they were, you know, being nefarious. And he didn't want the girls to know, so he married them all. Eventually, you know, they would have a child, you know, to just, you know, continue to the whole beard, you know, was growing. So they, they need to continue the narrative and decide that, you know, they were better off apart. You know, she liked women. And no woman like him, okay, on period. The way that Tamako is set up, you know, he's, you know, he gives that he wants a man. Period. If you want a woman, man, you have to act like men. Women don't want men who act like women. They would be lesbians if that was were the case. Tamako is too feminine for any woman in my opinion. So they separated. Shamarco was more than willing to marry her ass off. Okay, on period. When Lester came along. And Larry would suggest that they be in a 
contract marriage so that Lester could stay here in America and he can, you know, add him to his harem of men. But Lester, Lester didn't want to be like the other men. Lester wanted Larry all to himself. Lester wanted all the monies. He didn't want to split the monies. He didn't want to split Larry's attention, whatever you want. He wanted Larry to himself. So Larry would have to entertain Lester separate from the harem. It's a whole lot of dusty shit going on. Leave it to the official campaign to bring some clarity to a dusty situation. Lester said that, you know, Larry would try to get him, you know, would even try to trick him into like, you know, some orgy type of situations. Um, but you know, he would never, you know, acquiesce, you know, um, according to Lester, it was already enough for him that, you know, Larry, um, was visiting his dookie snatch, you know, he didn't, he didn't need to get a whole harem back there, you know, <laughs> girl, he didn't want the whole harem in his motherfucking dookie snatch. Yes, it did. My, my, my. My, 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 the fish campaign got all of the receipts when gathering close, gathering close. Remember to like this video and support. We can't do it without your support. We can't. Okay. Oh, so, you know, Larry went down to the courthouse to file this uh, new motion. Okay. Same lawsuit, new motion. Okay. Um, apparently, Daryl is in violation of the injunction and they want him to pay. Um, they're even asking for jail time. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot of dusty shit going on. Leave it to the official campaign to bring some clarity to a situation before we get into the documents. Okay. Before we get into the read of the documents, I don't know if we're going to do it here or if we're going to do it on the call for you. It depends on the support. It depends on the support. If y'all want to stay right here on the show, y'all make sure that y'all like you and support in this video. Where are my trophies at? Where are my trophies at? Oh, we're going to get into Larry's sex workers response. You know that Larry told his, his lap dog to respond to Daryl. Um, and you can pretty much um, consider, you know, anything that's coming from conscious is coming from Larry's mouth since he works for Larry. And, you know, he's he's alleging to the courts that he does not work for Larry. But in this very video, he says that, you know, he's hard at work for Larry. Okay. And I have all the receipts. I have all the receipts. So gather and close. We continue to pop these bitches on a daily basis. And they're mad. Oh, like this video. Like this video. is up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation. Let's go. Let's go. Official campaign got all the receipts win. I took my time today to put together this live stream for you guys. Make sure that you guys are supporting the show. We cannot do it without your support win. Okay, I'm trying to get me a wig like that. <laughs> stiff wear. Stiff wear. Stiff every motherfucking wear. Let me stop. <laughs> stiff wear. Stiff wear, bitch. Stiff every motherfucking wear, girl. This bitch wig is our race, so. She be having the highest peaks on her motherfucking wig. It be like these up here, like girl, like golden arches, like the golden arches. Okay, like she was trying to get the the, the McDonald's arch in the motherfucking wig. Like, why do her wigs be set up like that? Like, girl, stiff wear, eh, hey, motherfucking wear, girl, girl. You gotta stop getting your wig from T Moo. You gotta stop getting them wigs from motherfucking T Moo. That's all I know. That's all I know. Okay, on period. Yes, thank you, Laura. Thank you, friend. Shout out to Angela. Okay, on period. Thank you, friend. I look forward to receiving your donations. Thank you to Spiritually Protected Tarot. Thank you, Tarot. I look forward to receiving y'all donations. Win. Thank you for your continued support. You guys are amazing. Win. Just know that we can't do it without your support. YouTube is taking so much of a bad bitch money. So much of a bad bitch money. Win. Okay, on period. Support, support, support. That's the name of the game. Win. Shout out to all my trophies. I want you to know that we love you. And, you know, we appreciate you. Okay? And we can't do it without you. Yes, it's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation. Let's go, girls. Somebody...
tell us somebody send this bitch a, a shitty kite and let her know that oh, oh, oh it's time to let the wig go let it go let it go just throw the whole head away okay yeah <laughs> uh, order from love me wigs okay she needs to find a new uh, uh, wig spot okay on period they say uh order order your wigs from love me okay order your wigs from love me okay on here because girl wherever's conscious is getting the wigs from okay up here they sleep on him they sleep on him when bitch i'd be so mad if i <laughs> got a motherfucker wig and a motherfucker stood up like that why does his wig stand up like that they're not supposed to stand up at the top like they're supposed to be flat right here it's not supposed to be all his wigs just all his wigs like this <laughs> they are not supposed to be like it's supposed to look natural are you like you the only bitch with a lace front that don't look natural? They don't never look natural. What happened to the baby her? Okay, another spalding ASB chair. Like <laughs> it's the door knocker for me. Like <laughs> get that wig off a of wish. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> y'all is funny y'all is funny as hell weird y'all make sure y'all liking this video and supporting this video weird we can't do it without your support um let me make sure i got these timestamps. okay oh here i am baby sign to you delivered i'm yours <laughs> oh shit oh shit Ooh. okay so i think it's I think we in the right spot already. I want to say we in the right spot already. Again, everything um, being shown to you guys during this video is being shown to you guys according to the fair use and copyright doctrine. Here is Larry's response, okay, to Daryl Moore. Listen to this. Settled out of court that the case has been wrapped up. This case will never be wrapped up. And I'm going to have to reiterate that every time I go to report on this particular lawsuit, girl. He said, this case will never be wrapped up. Larry will never forget what you did, Daryl. My, my, my. My, my, my. Apparently, he's mad at Daryl for exposing. Uh, 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 he touched little boys. Allegedly. It's all alleged. I don't know. I wasn't one of the little boys. In here on period. Mm -mm. Nope. But I did talk to Tashawn and Levantre and Delquan and Lester and I mean, all these people can't be lying. Okay. The defendant is under a injunction order. The injunction order will be present and it will be active. For as long as the defendant is alive, okay. okay so, oh, he's in, under an injunction. So, pretty much, there he's alleging that you know because he's under this said injunction that you know Daryl Moore can't speak. He shouldn't be speaking about it, okay? Um, because they already got their foot on his neck. You know what? It just. <laughs> Have you guys ever been to like Chuck E. Cheese? And you guys remember those robots? You guys remember the Chuck E. Cheese characters that would sing on the stage and would scare the shit out of the kids? Don't he look like one of those characters? Don't he look like one of those, what was it, rats? Possums, don't he look like a fucking possum? The bad, your old friend, the bad from the Chuck E. Cheese. Don't he look like one of the characters? Maybe it's the eclipse. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it was the eclipse, girl. <laughs> Y'all get away, dude. And that may or may not be for too much longer, okay? But 
until he's alive, girl. Until he's dead and gone, I mean. I'm talking about until he's alive, Father God. Until he's dead and gone, girl, okay? It will be in his life forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, okay? Something else that you guys need to know because I know you guys, you know, people don't know how to use Google. They don't know all these lawyers out here on the streets, girl. Y'all don't go and ask no lawyers, no questions or nothing, honey, okay? The case was also concluded with prejudice. Okay. Not only did did the defendant in this case sign an injunction order barring him from being able to speak, reference, communicate with, in any kind of way, refer to, defer to the plaintiff in this case, which is very real life, but also any of his contractors, any of his workers, his family and friends, because within that injunction order also is a protective order against the defendant as well. The defendant not only reviewed this injunction order, he signed it in blood. His attorney, who's no longer representing him, okay, Mr. Fred, okay, with the wife who's currently in prison for fraud, mm -hmm, the defendant had an attorney, Mr. Fred, who has a wife who is currently in prison for fraud, okay? Then, the attorney presented a memorandum to the courts because his own client, the plaintiff, the defendant in this case, played in his face because when it was time for niggas to show and prove, when it was. I hate how they try to talk in circles. Like, bitch, just spit it the fuck out. You know, him here. You got fur stuck in your motherfucking throat. You got some dingleberries stuck in your motherfucking throat. Spit it the fuck out already. Like, what are you talking about? Girl, yeah, girl, he smacked them lips. He didn't smack them lips and some more, girl. <laughs> he got on William McCray wig. Oh, William McCray read that wig for filth. I'm sure he did. <laughs> so they never gonna drop the case. No, that's what he said when. So there's the this injunction, um, which says that you know that Daryl Moore. Um, the, well, they both agreed in, in mediation to not talk about the other party, which is why he has Conscious TV doing all the talking for him. Um, but Daryl Moore went to petition the court because, um, you know, he wouldn't have agreed to said mediation um, if the new evidence were available at the time. Furthermore, he wants Larry to stop fucking with him. Why are you not messing with the accusers? But I guess since Larry feels like he already won by a mediation with Daryl, that, you know, his continued pursuit of Daryl would show the others that, you know, he's nobody to play with because, you know, if you piss him off, he will pursue you legally. Is that what that were? Well, whatever didn't happen, uh, y'all done pissed off the sex worker, y'all done pissed off Larry's... Uh, uh, Bussy on the side, we ain't okay on period. My, my, my. My, my, my. You would think that Larry would be able to afford to get him a good wig or something. Because, girl. Time for niggas to run up to get done up. When it was time for niggas to play those Horani Ho YouTube games in court where it mattered, guess who opted out? The plank, the defendant. Okay? So, when discovery happens, which you guys know discovery is the portion of a criminal suit or a civil suit where both parties present their evidence against one another. Guess who in this case was the only person who had a shit ton of evidence against the other? Of course, Larry Reed. <sighs> That's not how it happened. That is not how it happened. Them girls didn't show up to court. Them girls didn't show up to court when they get to, they get to lying so quick when don't they get the line so quick? 
Okay, just like he lied to the judge and alleged that he's not on Larry's payroll. How many times have we heard them allege that he is contracted under Larry? He went and jumped out the window and told the judge that, you know, he volunteers for Larry. And my whole thing is whether you're volunteering or are, are on the payroll, you still are underneath the Larry V. Live umbrella. And just as Larry, just, I'm sorry, just as Daryl is not supposed to be talking about Larry, Larry is not supposed to be talking about Daryl. Larry or any of his associates. Mm -hmm. And there'll be more tea on that again on the coffee directly after the show. You guys like this video, like this video, like this video. It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation. So, you know, there's this lawsuit um, here. And I think we'll probably review it on the after show as well because we're almost to two hour mark. But I wanted to show you guys uh, what conscious said um here about how hard he's been working for larry on this case now whether he's working as a paid employee or a volunteer who gives a fuck the fact that you are working for larry period um is all that matters listen to this and suggest that Reed has engaged in grooming victims of sexual misconduct while publicly posturing as an advocate for such victims. Okay, February 3rd, 2024, Moore posted a video to YouTube which provides users a link to a recorded version of the January 29, 2024 video described above. Y'all see how hard I be working, bitch. So he's going over his sworn statement that he submitted to the court and on behalf of Larry, and he's telling his audience, y'all see how hard I be working, bitch? Working for who? Working for who? Because you say you don't work for Larry, but the document that the very document that you're reviewing is your sworn testimony that you submitted to the court on Larry's behalf. And we know good and good and darn well that you don't work for <laughs> the courts or any government agency at that. This is a clear indication that you work for Larry Reed because the very document that you're reviewing that you typed out, wrote, submitted is for Larry Reed. See how hard you've been working for Larry? Apparently not hard enough. Apparently not hard enough. At 358 in the latter video, Moore seeks to characterize as ironic that someone advocating for victims of child predators has been blah, 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 girl, and the citations go on and on photos of Reed suggesting that he has the physical signs of HIV infection. He discusses litigation and allegations of sexual misconduct between Reed and Pastor T.D. Jason suggests that Reed has engaged in grooming victims of sexual misconduct while publicly posturing as an advocate for such victims. Okay, February the 3rd, 2024, Moore posted a video to YouTube which provides users a link to a recorded version of the January 29, 2024 video described above. Y'all see how hard I be working, bitch? Ma, ma, ma. Working Larry to death. Okay, on period. This is the same girl that after uh, Larry was exposed, put out text messages, feeling some type of way, feeling like Vincent, feeling betrayed, feeling she was the only girl, put out text messages where Larry alleged that, you know, he wanted to dominate her and fuck it, them, they, in the fucking ass. Yes, he did. I got the screenshots. Okay, on period. He said, I want to fuck you in the ass just to show you who's boss. Who's boss? Who's the boss? He's working hard for his what? 
boss. Who's his boss? Larry. Dingleberry Reed. Girl, don't let them get over this motherfucker crown, girl. Try again. Try again, motherfucker. Try again, motherfucker. Okay, up here. Don't nothing get over this crown, girl. Don't nothing get over this crown, girl. Okay, up here. So here's some more remarks that uh uh Dingleberry had for Daryl. Okay, and then we're gonna head over to the coffee for the review of the lawsuit in this piping hot tea. Okay, find out who's gonna be arrested on the coffee win. At least, you know. Word on the street is the popo is coming for one of these hoes. Find out who it is. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Find out who it is on coffee directly after the show. Riding around on the back of them sharks and has just moved on from the subject matter. Look me in my eye, you frail bone bitch motherfucker. Ooh, you he said, look him in his eye, girl. Look him in his eye, girl, when... He said he wants you to look him in his eye. Take a look in my eyes and see what I see. He wants you to look him in the eye, girl. He wants you to look him in his eyes, girl. Looking and you're listening. You're heating your whore, you goddamn nigga. The doctor is never going to forget. I don't give a damn how oiled up he look. I don't give a damn whether the flesh in between his feet is being massaged by 12 47 year old damn Muslim virgins, bitch. I don't give a What about 12, 12 year old little boys? Or how about one 12 year old little boy alone without parental consent in a very, very compromising situation with Larry? You know, that's what happened with Levantre and. Tyshawn, haven't you heard their testimonies of what happened to them at the hands of Larry? I'm sure that's why you're saying, making reference to men massaging Larry's feet, because according to them, little boys, they had to massage Larry's feet, his back, and other things. I am. What type of UFO you see him driving around? Whether he go get remarried again, whether he birthed triplets, bitch, the doctor is never going to let you go. You was on his ass for four years strong, and he going to be on your motherfucking ass forever, bitch. Okay? What Cardi B has said, y'all? If we going to beef, we going to beef for how long, bitch? Forever. Forever, bitch. Daryl, oh. Daryl, you, you, you prepared to beef with these hoes forever? Girl, you know, Concha just admitted that she was a witch over there. She's been over there uh, doing all kind of, well, she, I've been knowing she was a witch. I don't know why these girls be acting like they're confused. Like, girl, how I many, she been saying she over there uh, doing all kind of spells and chicken balls. I remember when I first met her, she said that she motherfucking messed up a spell. And there was all kind of roaches camped out outside her motherfucking house. And said the whole house was covered in roaches. I said, bitch, how that work? What that was? I said, bitch, Are you in, you, you're sitting inside the house while it's, it's covered in roaches. Okay, that told me everything I need to know about her. Shit, bitch. I ain't never come on over your motherfucking house. She said she motherfucking did a spell. It backfired. And when she went outside, the whole front of her motherfucking house was covered in cockroaches. I said, bitch, what kind of spell was that? I ain't in, bitch. I ain't in, bitch. What kind of spell was that? Yeah. She let us know exactly who she was from day one. Okay, on period. <laughs> Look at her. Okay. And you're going to have to analyze me, bitch. Because even when and if in the hypothetical dementia and all Thomas creeps in, bitch, I'm going to be the bitch to remind his mother ass. Mm. That is time. So he said, even if Larry gets old, he has dementia, whatever, he's going to be the one reminding Larry about the lawsuit, about the injunction. He's going to be the one wheeling Larry's frail ass down to the courthouse to make sure that Daryl Moore uh, remains silent. Is that what that were? So you and Larry have plans to be together for, you know, the long haul. That's what I'm hearing. You are going to be Larry's caregiver when he is up 
in age and he can no longer care for himself. You're going to be the one changing his diapers and wiping his ass. Okay. I mean, that's what I heard. Is that what y'all heard? What y'all hear? What did y'all hear? Because that's what I heard. He said, when Larry is old and sickly, he is going to be the one by his side. He's very confident in his position with Larry. Doesn't it sound like that? Doesn't it seem like he's very, very confident in who he is and his position with Larry and what he what what's going to happen? You know, you know, with everything. Like he's like, I run it, I run this. Okay, that's my pasapine, and he's very adamant that you know he is the one making sure that Larry pursues Daryl. He is the one because you know Larry's even said he don't want to be in court. He don't want to waste no more money, you know, uh, you know, in litigation, you know, because he's done it. He sued Daryl, and Daryl was still talking. So he even said, you know, a number of times that he doesn't want to continue to waste his money um, on lawsuits. But you know, he got unconscious in his motherfucking ear and that motherfucking uh stale ass wig is irritating his motherfucking scalp and you know he motherfucking irritated hangry and then just pressed jealous mad jealous and you know i'm sure that he called larry up was like girl you got to do something about these these people you know and then you got William McQuarrie alleging that he has the package so you know he's been really pressed lately he's been really pressed lately he can't take he can't take, okay, I'm here giving which vibes, girl. Women like a motherfucker for Larry, huh? He be women like a motherfucker for Larry, girl. Weird. Mm. Nah. Should more fail to show cause why he should not be held in contempt for the third time. The court should impose a significantly greater penalty going forward. And I, I won't. Generally, civil contempt may be either intended to coerce future compliance with the court's order or to so we didn't start reading this lawsuit that we're going to read on the after show because we hit our two-hour mark crown family unless you want to stay unless you want to stay i've been you know i've been you know what i'm saying neglecting my members okay so we got to go we got to go and um get it in over there on the members only and plus i got some piping hot tea okay so oh you don't want to miss this members only show over there on coffee Y'all don't want to miss the members only show on coffee happening like right now as we speak. Okay, on period. I'll see you guys all on coffee. Yeah, come to the coffee. Where are my uh uh where's the secret society at? Where's the sacred society at? Where's my people? Where's all my people that have coffees? Where's all my people that have coffee? I'm gonna give you the coffee link right now, friend. Here goes the coffee link. Here goes the coffee link. Let me get it to you, win friend, because yeah, I forgot we got a lot of stuff going on. Let me stick to the plan because I'll be ready to just sit here with y'all all day. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, but I, let me stick to the plan, let me stick to the schedule so I get out all of this content because we got a lot of content to get into. If you guys enjoyed the show, make sure that you guys are supporting. Friend, that wasn't a roach joke. That was the truth. That is not a joke. I promise you that is not a joke. Oh, if I had a tape recorder, girl. Girl. That is not a joke. I wish I knew the show that it was on. It might even still be up. I can probably find it. Conscious TV said he did, and this was like when I first met him on the gentleman's panel. He said he did a show. Okay? He did it. Oh, not a show. He said he did a spell. He said he he did a spell and the spell backfired and there was roaches all over his house because the spell backfired. I said, mm hmm. I bet it was a spell. I bet it was a spell. Not the spell backfired and he had roaches all over that motherfucker. My girl, please. That ain't what that were. <laughs> that ain't what that were. Yes. Yes. Anybody else need the link? Did I get the cash app? Let me go see. Let me go see. Let me go see. Oh, so he's a fail witch girl. 
Let me go see. Oh, let me make sure that I am acknowledging all my supporters. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for coming out. It's been lit when we're actually about to go to the after show on coffee. I want to see you guys all there. Shout out to Candace Bose. Shout out to Hello All. Okay, on period, she said, I love you so much. I hope you know who I am. I know who you are, friend. Oh, 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 oh. Queen V. I know who you are, friend. Danny Lynn for the win. Hey, for you. And Bull Life. You guys all make sure that you guys are checking out the Bull Light show right here on YouTube. And when you get over there, subscribe. We in. It's lit. It's lit. A lot of good content over there. Something new and refreshing. Yay, sir. All right. Also, shout out to Queen V. Thank you, friend. Oh, you had a BBL in Puerto Rico? I heard, friend. I heard. I had uh, went into the chat and I was praying for you when I heard that you got that BBL in Puerto Rico. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Shout out to Zania. Thank you, friend. Oh, she said, so entertaining. Thank you to Tiffany. She said, for the tea. I know that's right. Queen V, again, she said, don't feel good. Going to sit this one uh, out. Okay, don't be real. So much for sitting out. I seen you all through the chat. Shout out to my trophy, Elizabeth. I know that's right. Shout out to Elizabeth. Shout out to Naughty Love in the building. She said, keep up the great work. Thank you, friend. You guys all make sure that you guys are checking out the Naughty Love show as well. Okay. Shout out to Lisa. She said, keep your foot on Larry Reed neck. Beverly, Laura, Nicole. Shout out to all of you guys. Yikes. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, is there anyone that I missed? Let me know in the chat. We got Cash Up, Super Show, Vimazel, Crypto, PayPal, or Girl, however you want to do it. Oh, I think that's everyone. Shout out to everyone for loving on me like you do. All of your many and continued blessings. You guys are amazing, a girl. Yes, amazing, a girl. I think that's everybody. Okay. Shout out to Sharita Smith. Shout out to Miss Sharita. Thank you, Miss Sharita, friend. Oh, 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 it don't matter, friend. It don't matter the size. It don't matter the size. It all adds up. It all adds up. You know, can you be real? Yeah, it's uh, oh, we just we come up with the uh, you know, different ways to hit our hit our quotas each and every show. That way, we make sure that the business is businessing. Okay, and with that being said, I love you all with the love of Jesus. Let's head over to the coffee. Um, for the read of this court document. Let's go over the court docs. Okay, on period. Let's go over the court docs. Okay. Um, and let's find out who's getting arrested. I bet you guys want to know who about to get arrested. I know y'all want to know who about to get arrested. Yeah. Stop playing with the 18 win because the 18 don't play. Yeah. Yeah, the 18 don't play. I bet y'all want to know who's getting arrested. Y'all come on over to the coffee to find out who's getting arrested. Until next time, I love you all with the love of Jesus. This has been a great show. This has been a great show. I want to see you guys all on the after show, the Lituation Network, when we have another installment of Jaguar Right at Large, okay, later on this evening. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And the Crown Family has another discussion for you guys sometime today. I think um, I want to say they said six. Okay. I, I'm not sure. And I think that's uh, 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 Eastern Standard Time. So that might even be like what? Three, like now. Now I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to the coffee. So the sacred society, I want to see you guys all there until next time. I love you all with the love of Jesus. Adios. 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 And thanks for watching.